So if you're wondering how to record your face and your screen at the same time with Descript so that you can then edit that video with Descript, this video is for you. My name is Meredith and I'm here to help you look good, sound good, and feel good on camera. And I've got Descript open over here on my desktop. There are three different ways that you can do this and I'm going to cover all three. We're gonna start with the most simple. So number one, come up here to the top right, hit new project, new video project. And I'm going to assume that you have a microphone connected, you have a camera connected, or maybe you're using the webcam on your computer. And all you have to do is come to this button right here in the middle, hit record. And this is going to open up a little preview window here. And over on the right hand side is where you can select whether you're recording just your microphone or your camera and your microphone or your screen and your camera and your microphone. And then below that is where we select the actual input for Descript. You wanna make sure you have the right microphone and the right camera selected. Now in an ideal world, if I wasn't already recording a YouTube video for you, I would choose Cam Link 4K. That is how my Canon M50 Mark II is connected to my computer. However, I'm using that to talk to my camera right now. And Descript doesn't support the Elgato cam link anymore. So let's just go with FaceTime HD camera. So you can see down here at the bottom, it's kind of small down here. We wanna make sure we have the right microphone selected. So for me, it's the Shure SM7DB, which is connected through the MVX2U. Do you ever notice how every YouTube creator or like podcaster, anytime they mention their microphone, they have to give the full name and letters of the microphone. It's the Shure SM7DB. Now I'm not doing anything with AI speakers, so I'm not, I'm not even going to select that. But there is this other option over here that you might not know is there when you record, and that is to turn your studio sound on and or turn your transcription, automatic transcription on. So I don't use studio sound uh, usually because I'm not recording in a train station, but I do have my transcribe set to on. And so now I can hit record into script. And since I'm recording my face and my screen, it's asking me like, how much of your screen do you want to record? So I could either take my mouse and actually drag it and create whatever size box that I want, or I can decide to record the entire screen by just hitting the space bar. So it's gonna give me a little bit of a countdown. And now I'm recording my entire screen. So what all can you see over here? You can see my notes over here. So you can see myself, you can see my screen, it's recording. And then over here on the right hand side, you can either hit pause or stop. Uh, by the way, if you hit pause, after like three minutes or something, it kind of gives up on you and just ends the recording anyway. So don't take too long of a pause, but I'm just gonna hit stop over here. And it has recorded and transcribed everything for me. So I have my script over here and I also have these two video files that it recorded. It's got my face and it also has my screen simultaneously synced together. Now you might not be happy with exactly how this is all laid out and everything. So we'll get to editing in just a minute. Now, one thing about me is I love to create a cheat sheet. So I did create a Descript cheat sheet for the new version of Descript. It's got some tips and tricks for the layout, the new sidebar, some keyboard shortcuts, and you can grab that through the link down in the description. It's a completely free download and it's just a one page cheat sheet. Let me show you the two other ways that you can record your face and your screen with Descript. The second way is if you have the Descript quick record um, option installed on your computer. I'm not sure how this works on a Windows machine, but if you have the quick record installed on your Mac up here in the menu, you can just hit the Descript icon. Personally, I think if you're going to record a full YouTube video recording your screen in your face, just open Descript, start a new project, 
And I think that's a little bit more of a reliable way to do it. This is more for, well, let me show you. If I turn on the camera, it's, this is kind of like a um, little bit more like a loom replacement. It works in a similar way, but if I hit record and share, same thing, just select the whole desktop. I can move this around. When I hit stop, instead of opening in the Descript software, it opens in the Descript browser. If I hit edit, it's it's here in the browser, which you can edit in the browser. I'm not that brave yet. I do like the app on my actual desktop. But if you need a quick recording, this is a great option. As a Descript customer, you also have access to squadcast.fm, which is a way of remotely recording yourself and your guests. And if I go to new session, and we'll just hit start session now, and it's going to ask for all of my permissions and things. Wow, my hair needs to be combed. Okay. So down here at the bottom is where we hit record and it will just record our face, but we want it to record our screen too. So for this, you can either record uh, like a tab in Chrome or a whole window or your entire screen. I think I will maybe pull up, yeah, the plans and pricing for Descript. So now you can see that it switched over to this tab. So I can do whatever I want in this tab. It would record, but I need to actually hit that record button. Let's record down here at the bottom. So you can see how it's got my screen. It's got me. If I switch over to this other tab, I can, you know, interact with the tab. I can do whatever I want over here. And then if I hit stop, it's going to stop recording. And this shouldn't take too long because it was only a couple of seconds. I'm going to hit edit in Descript. So it's doing this in the browser. Does it have my screen? And yes, it does. So if I open up the sequence, it has us both here. Now I promised that we would get to how the editing works for editing your face and your screen at the same time. And how this works with Descript is Descript automatically creates what it calls a sequence. And if I open up my projects folder over here and then my sequence drop down, you can see we have this uh, sequence here. And if I hit edit sequence, it's going to open up a new window. And this is where the script has sort of uh, packaged the video of my face and the video recording of the screen and mashed them together, bundled them together into a sequence because they're happening at the same exact time. And what you see on the main timeline of the project is just one single thing. That's because it's the sequence that's in the timeline, even though there's two things bundled together. So because I have by default Descript made my face like small down there, I can just manipulate this by selecting it and moving it around and I could make it go full screen. I'm going to assume that if you're recording your face and your screen at the same time, it's because you do actually want your face and your screen showing at the same time. So if I was really trying to make a video here, I would probably, I guess, I don't know, adjust this a little bit. And then I usually like to position myself in the bottom right-hand corner. And this gives us the option here, if we select shapes, and circle, we can actually make ourselves into a circle and we can put that down there in the bottom right hand corner. One thing I think is kind of interesting is you can flip horizontally. So if you wanna make it look like you're looking the other direction, you could always flip it around. Now, if you wanna get really clever, you could create different scenes with your video and just let me put a couple here on my timeline and then you could decide, well, you wanna start your video with you over on the right hand side, but then in the next scene, you want to just switch to just your face. So you could do that. And then in the next scene, it's gonna be back to how it was originally. And then maybe in the fourth scene, 
you want to get rid of yourself entirely, in which case, let's just make this go away completely. And maybe you just want, you just want the screen to be showing and you can adjust all of these things, adjusting the layout that is happening within each of your scenes. And if you want to be super extra fancy, you could take that scene layout and hit save to template and create a new template. And you could say face and screen and hit create and this is bottom right face add that and then you could take the next scene you could hit save to template and say just me and you could go to the next one and this one is just like full screen now next time you record a face and screen video with descript all you have to do is come to the scene level hit choose template find those templates, these little thumbnails are still kind of populating here. But all you have to do is select one and it will apply that template to your scene. Whew, that was a bit of a crash course. Now, if you want to grab my Descript cheat sheet, I will link to that down in the description. But I have a bunch more tutorials here on my channel that I'll link up for you here.